so today I'm in a new spot again. This area has lots of garnet in it. And there's slides going all along this mountain range. Relatively new ones and some old ones. And yeah, I thought I'd just come and check them out and see if I can find any really nice, well-formed garnets. But yeah, there's lots of schist around here. The nicer garnets seem to be in a greener colored schist. I don't know what it is, but this piece has a few garnets and some quartz in it. Nothing too crazy, but I'll keep on exploring all these little slides and see what I find. This is something strange I've never really seen before. There's little green spots in this chest. Well, mostly in the quartz. That are like bright neon green almost. Looks like a mineral, I think. It's kind of just intermixed in here. I'll have to see if I could chip some out so I could get a better look at it. Pretty interesting. Just found a nice piece of quartz vein with some garnets and schist kind of in between the quartz. So. And they look pretty well formed. So I'll try and break that open and show you what's inside. Looks like it might be nice. Who knows? So here we go. I just broke it open. I got a little handful of garnets here. They're pretty well formed. And look at this one. This one's just insane. You can see it's got like really nice crystal form on it. It'd be amazing to know where this came from, just to have a good source for it. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty nice. There's still a lot more in here, so I'll see if I could break the rest out. So here's a few more. Still in the matrix there. There's a couple here that are loose. It's pretty nice. Really want to find out where this is coming from. Might be something really nice up there. This piece looks kind of interesting. It's got mica and feldspar in there. A little bit of quartz. So it must be some kind of a pegmatite. I'll see if I can knock a piece off and maybe there's garnets in there somewhere. Or some other type of crystal. Yeah, pegmatites are a really good spot that you'll want to look for. Just your crystals really, sometimes it pockets out and if there's enough space, crystals will form. So. Yeah, I'll break a piece off and see what's in there. That rock did turn out to be quite strange. There's like this weird calcite type stuff that's got some uh, 
green mica in there. Some sort of, I don't know. And there's a little bit of feldspar and quartz. And there is, like I, I thought I seen like a graphite crystal in there somewhere, but yeah, and it's kind of got a green color to some of the, I don't know. Don't really know what to say about it because I don't really know much about it. It's pretty cool though. If you can find a pocket in it. Maybe there's some nice crystals. Who knows? So just come across this nice piece of adventuring. It's kind of cool. And there's a nice big boulder in the creek here that I might try and break up. Looks like it has some garnets that have fallen out and there's some nice ones in here so yeah we'll see what's in that I'm getting pretty close to the top of the slide now we'll see if I can find anything in the wall the trick to finding good garnets really is finding some schist that is really loose, like the mica's really flaky. But a lot of the time you'll come across garnets in this really hard material. It's still schist, but it's just really tightly packed and it really holds on to the garnets. It doesn't want to let go and it just makes them fracture up and not really come out that nice. So. Yeah, you just want to find the really loose stuff, and sometimes in the pegmatites they'll be covered in a like in a mica coating. So that really helps release them from the rock a little better, and they'll come out looking a lot nicer. So I just found this piece of quartz, and it looks like it has some kyanite in the middle of it. Some really light blue colored kyanite, but still kyanite nonetheless. And there's a little bit of garnets on the bottom side of it, so I might break it open and see if I could get a nice piece out of it. Anyhow, here's the big cliff. And right here, that's all like this marble stuff. I don't know what it's really is. It's like in between calcite and marble it hasn't quite metamorphosed enough. But hopefully somewhere up there I'll be able to find some nice schists where this is coming out of. That one rock actually had some pretty decent kyanite in it. Really nice and blue. Not dark blue or anything but Pretty nice for my first kyanite anyways. Yeah. There's a nice dark blue bit, but it's a pretty interesting area for sure. I'll be trying to explore this area as much as I can before the snow falls. There's not too much time, so. Yeah. I'm not too sure what this stuff is. It's like, like I was saying, in between calcite and marble. I don't know where, what it would exactly be called, but it looks like it would be cool carving material, really nice and soft. Well, I just stepped in here in a, I don't know what to call it, like a little, I really don't know, but right underneath this big waterfall, pretty high up there, and there's a bunch of schist in here, and there's quartz stringers going all through it, and that kyanite, it was in a little quartz vein, so maybe it's up here somewhere. 
Could be even up further, I don't know. But, I'm gonna take a really good look through this stuff and see if I can kinda get an idea of what's around here. You can really see the angle of how that crust got pushed up against the rest of the mainland there. Kinda cool. So I'm not really seeing much in the way of garnets in these walls here, but I'm thinking it's coming from way up above here somewhere. So I think I'm gonna take this route right here. There's like a little way to get up. Go up here and then climb up along up there and see if I can get to the top of the waterfall. It is definitely interesting in here, but just not really any signs of crystallization. It's just all massive quartz and, you know, some phyllite turning into schist. But there's no really nice platy schist where the garnets are going to come loose out of. There's one reason why this area sucks so much to explore. There's so much Devil's Club. And this stuff really sucks when you get it in you. Cause you're like, like there's like millions of spines on here. And just, it sucks to have to pull them out at the end of the day. Especially if you grab the wrong branch and you get just like a handful of spikes. Oh, that sucks. But it's pretty nice right now that all the leaves are off of the plants so that you got a little more room to play with. I'm almost at the top of the waterfall. There's waterfall's about right there so I gotta climb up this really steep part right here and try and get around just right up top there here's another thing that sucks about climbing up these areas with slides in them get lots of these little trees and they're really close together so you just have to charge your way through those it's really rough but yeah I just hiked up a really steep part. You can see the ocean again. Oh, right behind those trees right there. But yeah, super high up. Still got a ways to go, so yeah, I'll probably turn the camera back on when I get there. Well, here I am at the top of the slide. Looks like there's not too much action going on up there, so I'll see what's in all this bedrock. Not seeing anything right away, but you never know. So I've just come from down there, and I'm up top the waterfall here. And it looks like pretty similar rock to what was down there. Just really tight grained schist, almost phyllite. But there is some garnet just in between here and there. Mostly next to the quartz and stuff. But yeah, I'm thinking it's all coming from way up high, so one of these days I'm gonna have to get up early and try and get up to the top and see what's up there. Lots of interesting stuff, but not quite to the best spot yet. Just 
definitely something up there. Looks like I'm getting a lot closer to the deposit now. There's some really nice almost pomegranate colored garnets here. They're pretty gemmy, so. I'll set this rock aside and see if I can figure out where this is coming from. There's also lots of massive garnet up here. Just these kind of pink veins going through the quartz. Uh, it's bigger than I thought, but yeah, just lots of the massive stuff. I think this might be as far as I'm going to go today. Just really steep getting up there. I'll probably come back another day more prepared. But it's kind of nice to see just the geology down low here. It seems like the garnet is getting more and more dense now. And there's a little pegmatite right there, but there's no garnets in it or kyanite. There is a little vein down here somewhere with some lower grade garnets. So they are starting to form now. Yeah, I'll have to come back someday and get to the top of this one. Well, I think I'd better start heading home now. It's getting a little dark and it's starting to rain. Uh, I'll be headed back up here another day to see if I could get up the mountain a little further. But, uh, If you liked the video, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out. So I'll try and keep some videos rolling out. And yeah, thanks for watching.